Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Kareem T back here with another video. Today we're playing Clash Royale, 54, 37 trophies. Um, road to 6,500 once again. And you guys saw my deck. We're using that again. Let's get right into it. And we are up against Saeed KH. I don't know. Um, let's see what he has for us today. Yeah, I'm just going to musky in the back. Let me guess. He's going to fireball log it, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> there's the fireball. I'm probably just going to go peck in front. I'm probably tank for it. And there's the log. There's the log. Okay, I'm actually no hard Of course he has Inferno Tower, guys. Of course he has it. I don't have enough elixir for my zap. He goes Valkyrie anyway, so. That sucks. Um, I'm going to go Tesla here. And Valkyrie should die to it. Which it does. Perfect. This is perfect. Um, let's see what he has for us right now. Obviously, I'm keeping this, like, safe. I want to play safe. But, I mean... It we get we can't do anything until probably sing or double elixir. So single elixir, we're gonna have to play pretty passively. He's gonna start a Pekka, so we're just gonna start something in the back with him. You know what I mean? That's that's something you have to know when you play this game is when when you play a deck, you have to know if I should play passive or aggressive. And this one we're gonna have to play a little bit passively. Um Lumberjack finally dies. That was close, guys. The Lumberjack was all over my tower, but we did um, get in front of it. Here, I'm not going to overextend. I'm just going to zap the Inferno Tower, and we should be okay. He's not actually making a play, so now I'm going to go a little bit aggressive and see if that can pay off. Muskie does lock on. Obviously, he goes Valkyrie, but look at that damage that the Musketeer just gave us, guys. That is beautiful. I don't have to defend this Valkyrie. That's good. 110 left in the match and we're feeling pretty good about it so obviously he's gonna start peck in the back so i have to play passively with him especially at the start of double elixir because i don't have my card cycle correct i'm gonna go musky oh i accidentally put it in the other lane that sucks okay so musky in the other lane um let's see i'm just gonna fireball that here we go and Okay, Tesla should take care of that. I'm going to bring the Lumberjack to the other side. And he lets the Musketeer go. Perfect play, guys. That actually worked out really well. So his P.E.K.K.A. is going to die. We still have a P.E.K.K.A. alive. And I think I'm going to rush opposite lane. Oh, he started, he started up a P.E.K.K.A., guys. Come on. Okay, he's going to fireball it, which is okay. We're going to get good damage over there. How much? Come on, keep taking... Keep kick. Okay, nice. 1300. He does have a pretty massive push, but Pekka. My Pekka is just going to stop it, dude. He can't do anything. I'm going to go Pekka in the back to stop that all. It will turn around. Wizard locks on. I'm going to log all of this. Musketeer should do her thing. Oh, Pekka doing so much work. Oh my gosh, guys. This is awesome. So we have a Musketeer. We're going to rush again. Oh, he does have Inferno Tower this time. So we're not going to get like any damage. But, um, oh, he's not defending it. He's not defending it. He's going to zap. I'm going to zap. Where's his fireball? He doesn't have it. Good game. Wow. We played passively, and then we rushed opposite lane because we couldn't break through that game, so we had to go opposite. That worked out really well. Clean win for the start of the episode, guys. That was pretty good. We're going to collect our epic token as we climb up, hopefully to 5,500. Let's see if we can. All right, guys, so editor here, Um, it's just me again, but <laughs> we got into our next match. This is 2.6 Hog Rider. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch my last episode, or maybe two episodes ago. But yeah, it didn't turn out well. <laughs> Here's the end of the uh, um, match. I just, I couldn't break through. My card cycle was terrible. I told you I win about 75% of the time, and <laughs> this is one of the 25 percenters, so... That sucks. All right, guys, so we're in our next match here. We're against Pico Leto, and uh, we're going to see what's up. I'm going to start off with a P.E.K.K.A. because why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Night Witch. So I'm guessing this is going to be Golem because when they start Night Witch, they probably go Golem at the bridge. <laughs> I can read this game like a freaking textbook, okay? So... I'm actually going to log the Night Witch, because P.E.K.K.A. takes two hits to kill the Night Witch, but when you log it, it's one. 
zap all the bats. Literally perfect. I know how to play this match. Wait, he has... Okay, so I went lumberjack to try to stop the um the charge of the prince and get a, myself a rage. That didn't work out because he barbarreled. But he has prince? That's weird. Oh, wait, I know what he's playing. He's playing the double prince version, isn't he? It's double prince, tornado, golem, barbarrel, and witch. Or night witch. I believe that's his deck. Oh, he has Baby Dragon as well. Okay, maybe he has Mega Minion too. I'm not sure. Okay, so he has Baby Dragon. I do like when they put Baby Dragon in the back because my Musketeer can just take it out and then turn into Counter Push. Once again, we're going to log this because it'll take two hits. Boom, zap that away. And then the P.E.K.K.A. should lock on to the um, Dark Prince and take it out. He does go Prince. That's troublesome. I'm going to just go Inferno Dragon and hope that I can take it out. Bar barrel. Okay, so the barb's actually gonna get a little bit of damage onto us. Let's see, one, two, two hits. It's kind of a lot, but we're fine. Um, he's gonna go baby dragon, which actually will die. I know that encounter, and with tower, it still dies. So that's perfect. Um, I'm just gonna start Pekka in the back and see what he does. So he's not making a play. Okay, there he goes with Night Witch. Um, here I. Log, it's too far away, so I don't want to log, especially now that he went golem. So I'm going to go fireball, then I'm going to log it, and then I'm going to zap. Perfect. So all that should die. I actually have another P.E.K.K.A., so why not? I'm going to go two P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, hopefully that can take care of everything else. We are doing very good, guys. That prince should die. We have two muskies and a P.E.K.K.A. and a lumberjack. This is over, guys. This is literally game. If he defends this, then... I don't know, man. Oh, he has Lumberjack in this deck, not um, Mega Minion. There's no way he defends this, though, right? Oh, my oh my God. Are you actually serious? He defended that. I Why did my Zap not go down? That took, like, half an hour to go down. Anyway. So, he <laughs> there's no way he defended that, dude. I mean, we have to be up Elixir after that. He spent so much Elixir. He was probably at zero Elixir the whole time. Um, I'm going to go Inferno Dragon because he hasn't put down Night Witch. Yep, he hasn't put it down yet. That's perfect. I'm going to log that so the charges go away and we get rid of his shield. Um, hopefully that works out for us. P.E.K.K.A. one more swing. I'm going to go P.E.K.K.A. the bridge and rush. Because now that I have a musky down, I can do all that. I'm going to go Fireball because those bats are going to be menacing. Night Witch is just so annoying, honestly. Um, I'm going to go Musketeer. Then I'm going to log it with that good va log value. I'm going to zap all of that away. And he's going to get absolutely no damage with that, guys. That was awesome. So his tower is actually down really low. I might just spell cycle him out. Um, but I'm, I'll give him one more chance to defend. Oh, he missed the golem! He missed the golem! Dude, come on. That's, that's probably like the third time in a few seasons that people put the golem there. But I put the, instead of putting the Lumberjack in the middle of the bridge, I put it on the left side. So it actually doesn't go for it. I think that might be a little glitch in the game. But you gotta know that, dude. Especially when you play Golem. Okay, so we're in our last match probably here. And let's see what we can get done. Um, Obviously, two big wins today. Okay, he has Giant. Which is perfect, because Giant going into um, P.E.K.K.A. is massive, honestly. Electro Wizard. Wait, does he have Electro Dragon? Is this the double Electro? Yeah, and he has Ram Rider. Oh my god, dude. This guy, this deck is so toxic. But I'm pretty sure we have matchup advantage here. Just because um, my P.E.K.K.A. can really take everything out. Electro w Dragon and Wizard are both annoying, but Dragon especially... Um, he has Goblin Gang in this. Honestly, I don't think he has any Elixir, so I'm just gonna go all out and see what we can get done. He has many pe mini P.E.K.K.A. So, we should take it out though, right? Unless he has Zap. He does Zap. I'm gonna Zap that, and hopefully I get an extra tick. Nice! Okay, that was good. So, he's we're at about 2,000. He's at 1,300. That's really good for us. Um... See, another thing is to keep track of their elixir. 
I knew he was going all out. He put so much stuff down, like Giant, Ram Rider, Electro Wizard, um, Goblin Gang. So I rushed the other lane. Okay, so I put Pekka down, hoping that he would get scared and put Giant into it, but he didn't put Giant. And I don't have... Oh no, <laughs> this is not good. Here's the Electro Dragon. I don't have Inferno Dragon, so I'm screwed here. Oh, he brings it over. That's such a bad play. Why would he do that? Oh, look at the log. The log catches some of them. I need to fireball that because Electro Dragon would just do way too much. Pekka locks on and we take his tower. Dude, why would he put Ram Rider there? That was the, That's the only reason that we took his tower because he went Ram Rider right there. He put Ram Rider into a, a Tesla. Why would you do that? So now we can just put Pekka into his giant and win this game. And guys, that'll give us uh, 5,500 trophies. Um, There's only 17 days left in the season, I think, or something around there. And I haven't been pushing as much as I'd like to. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, Not all of my pushing will be in episodes. So I will try to push a little bit in between episodes. But here we just completely logged um, his push on the left. Took it out. I don't think I'm going to get two crown just because Electro Dragon is so annoying. But yeah, so that was OP. Um, we literally... Oh, that was... So, guys, we played that really well. Um, we win the game. 5,500. We're 1,000 off. So a little in between pushing. And guys, that we could hit 6,500 this season. My best is sixty around 6,200, so that would be a massive 300 push climb. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. I think I said like twice. <laughs>